What is going on guys? This is Simon from SG and today we're gonna to learn how to set up the payment request buttons with your WooCommerce site, um, with Stripe, so Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, Microsoft Pay, um, specifically um, Apple Pay, and um, let's get to it. So I am gonna to go to my settings in my Stripe dashboard, and this is assuming that you've already set up Stripe on your WooCommerce store. If you haven't set up Stripe yet, um, you can get this um, see this video here. Um, if you want to learn about more about WooCommerce payment methods, you can learn about like PayPal here. And overall, make sure to hit that like button right now. The road to 1,000 subscribers. We're on our way. Let's get to it. Okay, so I'm on my Stripe dashboard. I'm going to click Settings. Okay, um, I'm going to click Apple Pay. And I need to add my domain. Okay, so I'm going to type in my domain. Sweet, I'm gonna download this ver verification file. If you notice here, they want to put this in the document root in a folder called well-known. So I'm just gonna take this well-known, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna go to my desktop, and I'm just gonna create a new folder, well-known. Okay, and I'm just gonna rename this to uh, well-known without the period for now. Okay, and then I am going to um, just take this downloaded, file and just put this in this well-known folder okay and now I need to upload that well-known folder to my site so I'm gonna open up FileZilla um, this could be whatever hosting platform you are I have some other I have a tutorial about my favorite hosting platforms below in the bio if you want to check that out um, but in the meantime I'm just gonna connect to uh, my hosting platform and here we go and one second. Sweet, so then I'm gonna come and I'm gonna grab this well-known. And I'm just gonna place it in um, my document root. In this case, it's in my public folder um, next to all the other WordPress. You see, I was doing a tutorial before this and I saw that folder, so I'm just gonna delete this one but in this case, I need to re-add this period back right here. And now I have this well-known. And the reason why they need this is they're showing the document path of sgwebpartners.com slash well-known slash Apple Development Merchant ID Domain Association. Cool, so I'm gonna add it. And now people need to realize that I only can see um, Apple Pay in Safari or on my iPhone in um, Safari so I can't go to like Google Chrome and be like why isn't it there so like in this case I need to go back to my Stripe payment method on WooCommerce and I need to click enable payment request buttons and I'm gonna click save and now when I open up my Safari if I just go to a test product you will see that I have this option, okay, to pay with Apple Pay on the cart page. The best way to test this is to use your phone because you already have like Apple Pay set up. So um, I'd really recommend just like copying uh, like your website URL, creating a test product for like a dollar. Sweet, so I'm finally here. And as you can see on my cart page, um, I can see the product and then I can see this this Apple Pay button. So um, I'm gonna click Apple Pay and boom, I can double click. Please go through, please go through. And it went through. Um, awesome, so that's just Apple Pay. And if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and um, comment what video you wanna see next. Um, yeah, and overall, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. And subscribe. Uh, Road to 1000. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Peace.